Hi! Welcome to Don's Key Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you my MicroPython web server application using the MicroDot library. Rather than using low-level MicroPython socket programming, then we will take advantage of using the features of this MicroDot library. As you can see, I have here my ESP32 with an LED attached to it and my application that would turn on or turn or turn off the LED. If I click the toggle on button, then the LED would turn on. If I click the toggle off button, then the LED would turn off. Let's try again. Toggle on, toggle off. Toggle on, toggle off. This application is, de is deployed inside my ESP32 MicroPython device. And I am using the MicroDot library as my web server. Now, let's, let's go into the finer details of this project. This is the simple design of my simple project. I am accessing my application using my mobile phone. And then, depending on my toggle action, then it would control my LED output. This is the schematic and wiring diagram of my application. So, I have just attached an LED to the GPIO 23 of my ESP32. And I have added a 220-ohm current limiting resistor. The whole code is available in my GitHub repository for you to check out and I will include the link to my GitHub repository in the description of this video. If you are not familiar with how MicroDot is being created or how to get started with MicroDot, then I have created a very simple getting started video also on how to use it. But to discuss the important items, then let's see this diagram. As you can see, I have here my static folder. This static folder contains all the CSS and JavaScript files being used by my application. The templates folder is where we create our template files. Template files are files that are getting resolved or computed at runtime. The boot.py is used to connect to our Wi-Fi network. The main.py is the main microdot web server file and it contains the routes that our application is accessing. The LED modules.py represent our custom file and it contains a class that represents our LED. These microdot files in here are the microdot source files and I have just copied, copied these files and extension from the microdot source repository. Let's see how all of, all of these files will look like in Tony. I'm using Tony IDE in developing this application. So as you can see in my program in here, you would see that this, these are the files that is coming from my GitHub repository. And these are the files that is deployed already into my MicroPython device. So let's try exploring each of, each of the important files in my project. And we'll begin with the main.py. The main.py is where we create the our micro.app application. And in here, you would notice that it is creating several routes. These routes corresponds to what you type in the browser. So if you type the IP address and the uh, port, which is port 5000, then you would go into this particular method. And if you type shutdown slash shutdown, then it will shut down our application. So for each routes that we have, we are defining it here in the main.py. The important thing that you would notice in here also is that it is rendering a template and passing in some important parameters like this LED value. If you notice, 
it is it says that it's rendering a template called index.html. This index.html basically is an HTML page that is expecting some sort of an argument, which in this case it is an LED value. The, this LED value is the value that is being passed by the main.py. The value is coming from our LED module, which in our case in here is just a class that represents our LED. The pin number, which is the number that we assign to the LED, and then it has the toggle and the get value method, which just basically toggles the value of our pin, and whatever the value of the, the pin is being passed by the main.py into the index.html. This index.html during runtime is executing this code, which is template expression, and then it will decide if it will add the string check or not check. The check or not check just means that the switch that we have in our application will be set to toggle on or toggle off. There are other parts of the files in here like the boot.py which basically is our file that connects to our Wi-Fi and uh, the other files which are which is the micro dot and the other files in here which are micro dot specific files. The static folder contains all of our JavaScript and CSS files. So as you would notice rather than coding everything in a Python file just like coding in socket then we are coding everything in its in its own file, like programming the JavaScript in the JavaScript files, programming the HTML in the HTML page, and programming the Python file in the Python logic in a Python file. So that's how easy it is to use this micro dot framework in developing micro Python web server application. So what I'm doing actually is that. All files in my repository are being uploaded into the MicroPython device by copying everything. Except, by the way, by the license and the README. And then just right-click and upload it into the MicroPython device. So, once you have uploaded this MicroPython files, then we can now begin accessing again our application. So let's try this one. If I click toggle, then it, it, it lights on. So I just clear this one first so that you would see the messages. If I click this off, I receive a toggle request. Turn this on and then turn this off. The reason why I'm sh I am showing you the, uh, the micro dot framework is that when you try to go to Google and then and try searching for MicroPython web server, the list, the top search result here will show you how to create program using the socket programming. This is the socket programming that I am mentioning about. As you, as you can see, uh, there are some low-level details that you need to understand and you need to handle. However, as I have shown you in here, using MicroDot, then you will just focus on developing the business side or the logic of your application. Isn't this exciting? The code and the write-up for this project is in the description of this video. I hope you learned something. Happy exploring!